Hi, I am B, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make triangles and tangles. <clears throat> so, to make the triangles and tangle, you're going to need paper, ruler, and a pencil. So, let's get started. So, you're going to take your ruler, and you're going to line it up so then you have a triangular shape. You're going to trace the ruler so then you have a tr perfect triangle. Then, um, like this one, you're going to need to fill up the entire paper with triangles. So just like I did this one, you're going to do that throughout the entire paper. Okay, so once you've done that, you can either do it like how I did it, where you have multiple triangles everywhere, so it gets pretty complicated, or you can, if you're just beginning this, I would recommend doing just regular, a little bit more simpler type triangles, but it is up to you. I enjoy a challenge, so I'm going to be doing um, uh, lots of triangles. So you're just going to do different designs in them. So you can draw lines, um, dots, you can just do whatever. And I'm going to start out with doing some lines. Just going to do many lines inside of one of my triangles. Okay, so I like to, for this, I like to make them kind of curvy, so they have a slight curve. Um, then what I like to do is I like to just do little miniature lines inside of it. I really like doing this type of design because I think it looks cool. It looks kind of like a road maybe. And I like to make it curvy so then it kind of looks like they're going up a little bit and then they just go off into the distance, which is really cool about the triangle. Um, you can interpret it a bunch of different ways, but that's just one of the ways that I like to interpret it as. Next, we are going to do um, some zigzags. So to do the zigzags, they're quite easy. You just do a little uh, triangle type thing, just like that. And um, you can also, they are also mountain type things, which looks really cool. So you just do that. And then once you have finished, you can just do whatever you like. Um, sometimes I like to draw uh, a line right down the middle. Just like that. Because that looks kind of cool. Next we're going, I'm going to show you how to make this. This. Uh, with the heart and then the little swirl. So you're going to take one of your triangles and you're just going to do lines across. So just do some nice and easy lines and make them kind of spread out. So about that far apart should be good. Okay, so next you're going to just want to do, just want to draw um, a heart right in the center of each one just like this. Okay. 
Okay, once you've finished that, then you're going to do these little swirls, which these swirls are very easy. So you're just going to start out with just any one, and we'll start with this one. And you're just going to do, you're going to go like that, just one little line across like that, and then it's going to swoop just like that, and then it's going to come out and go to the bottom. Okay, once you finish that, um, then you can just add whatever type of designs you want. If you find out a cool de design to do, um, please leave that in the comments. I would love to know. So um, next we're going to be doing a checkerboard with one of the smaller triangles. As you can see in this one, it slowly goes off the page, so it's just like the road one. It slowly goes down off the page, which gives it an optical illusion, which I love them. So it gives it the optical illusion type of theme. So to that you just do a checkerboard like you would. Um, you just draw straight lines and then you do lines across. Okay, so then after you've done straight lines, then you're just going to do more straight lines but across. Just like that. Okay. Now you're going to want to um, draw every other one. You're just going to want to color in every other one. So I'm just going to do a light little drawing just like that on every other one. And then when you go one above, you're just going to want to, it's going to be like, um, colored, non-colored, non-colored, colored, just like that. Okay, and then you have um, your checkerboard slash optical illusion. Okay, next we're going to do this right here. So to do that, you're going to need to take your ruler and just draw nice semi-thin little lines. So it should be about that um, wide. Okay, once you have drawn your lines, then you're going to just want to, it's very simple, you just do little lines just like that and they're going to need to be curved, just slightly curved. With the other side you're just going to do the exact same thing and they're going to need to meet tip to tip. So next we're going to do uh, some simple, another simple one where it's kind of like this one but instead of using little miniature lines you're going to use dots instead. Then what you're going to do is, like I said, instead of the small little lines you're just going to do dots. Next, we're going to do just little arrows. So, you're just to do this little thing, what you're going to do is you're just going to make little arrows. So, you just want to draw 
two lines just like that and then you make a triangle and then with those right here you're just going to make a line just like that and um, I usually just like to play around with these I like to do um, arrows that are pointing left and arrows that are pointing right and arrows that are pointing up and down and etc so that's what we're just going to do today Then once you've done that, you can just add little decorations around it. Next, we're going to do uh, some swirls. So to do the swirls, you're just going to need um, you're just going to need to take the paper and just do a little swirl like that, and then just fill up your triangle with little swirls. Okay, next we're just going to do small little boxes, which are very easy. You just take one of your triangles. You have a couple options. You can just do what we did with the swirls and just fill your whole page up with boxes. Or you can do lines with boxes inside of them. Or you can take paper and you just draw little boxes. And just draw them all in a row, just like this. And then you're just going to want to connect them. So you connect them just like that. And then you can just connect them wildly with other ones. And then just make it look really cool. You can also just draw lines down the middle of your squares if you want. So next we're going to do some simple stars. I'm just going to fill your whole entire paper up with stars. Or you can do lines. Lines and then stars. Which is what I'm going to do today. So once again you just do nice vertical lines. Not too far apart. Okay, and then next you're just going to do a star. And if you do not know how to do a star, I will show you. So to just make a simple star, you're going to start out with a line, just like that. Then you're going to do one down, and then bring, bring it up, bring that down, and then connect this to that. And then you have a star. And next we're going to do tic-tac-toe. So to do the tic-tac-toe, you're going to do lines um, across, just like we did for the heart. Okay, and then next you're just going to do X's and O's all in a row. Just like that. And then you're going to have some empty space, so then you can just fill that up with more X's and O's. So, since there is an O right here, I'm going to put an X and then another X on the other side of it. And then since there's an X here, I'm going to do O and an O, and so on. And for the last one, I usually like to put a flower in there. So, I'm going to be doing a rose. If you don't know how to make an easy rose, I have a video on that, so, and I will put it in the description.
And then you can just fill up the background with whatever you want, whether it be a sky or little mini flowers or a butterfly or a ladybug or just something like that, you can. And then you're done. So that is how you make um, a triangles and tangle. Thanks for watching my How to Make a Triangles and Tangle video. If you liked it or if it helped you, give me a like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.